Hey guys, Jano Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land. <laughs> Whatever part of the world that you are in. In my part of the world, we got a crap load of potatoes. Uh, we didn't grow them, but we found them on sale. We got a 50 pound bag uh, for nine bucks, 10 bucks I think after tax, all that kind of stuff. Um, now, all right, all right, we're gonna start off first of all, a lot of people ask me where I got, where they can get my apron. Uh, you can get my apron at RankinsCreekRabbitry.com. I'll leave a link uh, below. Second of all, I am not a taterologist, or I don't have a degree in tateromomla tree, or any of that kind of crap, right? I'm just a dude. This is what we're going to do with our big old bag of potatoes that we got. A lot of times in these big bulk bags of potatoes, you're going to have potatoes that are have some bad spots on them, some blemishes. They're funky shapes. They're not what they're going to set aside to use for big, beautiful baking potatoes. Uh, a lot of times, these ones with blemishes, you're going to need to do something with them pretty quickly, or they're going to start spoiling, and then you're going to have a big, slimy, stinky mess in your pantry, and that's, apparently, that's not a good thing. And I'm just saying. I'm not admitting anything. I'm just saying. So, one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to get some baking trays here. We're going to put these in our freezer and let them get super freezer cold. Uh, and then we are going to take our aforementioned potatoes and we're going to peel them all. These have been washed. We're going to peel our potatoes and then after we get them all peeled, we're going to do various things with them uh, that we'll go into once we get a little bit further into the video on how we are going to freeze these uh, for our use, uh, later use. So they're going to last longer in the freezer than they will in our pantry. Uh, we eat a lot of potatoes, so we'll use them up pretty quick, but we're not gonna use up 50 pounds by the time they go bad. So what we're gonna do is we're going to set these up for use how we use them, which is for uh, mashed potatoes, fried potatoes, french fries, and hash browns is what we're going to be preparing, and then we're going to be freezing them uh, that away. So what first I'm gonna do is we're going to cut all the blemishes and all the bad spots out, we're going to trim them up like this. Now all these skins and all these bad pieces and all these peelings and stuff, uh, we're going to throw them into the compost pile. So don't just throw them in the garbage because they do have a use. So once we get that done, we're going to go to the next step. We're going to peel up some potatoes. we got a lot to do. Uh, this one here we're going to cut just into cubes, a uh, half inch or so by a half inch. And uh, we're going to freeze them uh, for mashing potatoes. So this is all we're going to do with them. Just cut them into cubes uh, for some of them. And then some of them we're going to do different shapes. But we're going to peel them and cut them first. Uh, we're going to have our sink. It's going to have full of ice water. we got a big old pot of boiling water so we can blanch them. we got a vessel here that's lined with paper towels and stuff like that to absorb the blanching. Pull them out of the blanch, put them in here put them on the cold trays and freeze them and then bag them and store them. That's going to be the process. Make sure you got some coffee going because we're going to be a while. Alright, so step one, acquire potatoes. Step two, wash and peel the aforementioned potatoes. So once we get all our potatoes peeled and cut into different shapes and sizes, uh, then we'll go to the next step and we'll see that here in a bit uh, through the magic of video. It'll be like a second. Okay guys, we got some of them one set, uh, set aside that we're going to be using, some of the bigger, better ones. The first batches of stuff that we're going to do is uh, french fries, so we're going to go ahead and cut our potatoes up to uh, french fries and cut them however, however you like them. I like nice big beefy fries and there's going to be some that are smaller, nothing's going to be a perfect cut, uh, but that's okay. So like I said, now we're just going to cut up some of these bigger potatoes uh, for our french fries and then uh, we'll go to the next step once we get them all cut and ready to be blanched. So let me get all these stuff cut up here and then we'll blanch them. Okay guys so we've got our first batch of french fries ready to go in to be blanched. Uh, we are going to do the same process with all of our potatoes. We're going to cut them and we're going to blanch them and then we're going to freeze them, then we're going to package them. Uh, when you're cutting your fries, any of the end pieces and the little round pieces and the pieces that are too small 
uh, just toss them into the mashed potato batch that you're going to do. We're going to do um, ours. We're going to do last, so we can make sure we got all the extra stuff in. So we're just going to add our potatoes in. Now remember, you want to make a big giant mess every time you're in the kitchen. Careful, don't splash boiling water on yourself. This is uh, boiling water. We put uh, about a tablespoon of salt in there. And again, please be careful. Don't burn yourself. We use, we're using a great big pot so that we can try to do uh, several batches of potatoes without changing out our water. So we got them in there now. We're going to give them a quick stir. The water is going to come back up to a rolling boil. And we're going to boil them for five minutes. We're going to blanch them for five minutes. And then we'll, uh, once we're done after five minutes, then we'll get back with you and try the next step. Okay, it's been five minutes. We're going to move our pan over here next to our sink full of ice water. We're going to start dipping our potatoes out, putting them into the ice water bath. This uh, stops the cooking and blanching process. So this is all we got to do now. We're going to put them into the freezing water. Get them to mix around. Let them set in there for just a couple of minutes to cool off. And then we are going to uh, put them in on uh, a tray with a towel to let them drain and uh, dry completely. I probably could have picked a better tool uh, for dipping these out. So anyway, this is the next step. Put them out of your blanched water into your ice water. Okay guys, next step is we're pulling our potatoes out and we're putting them into a container that's lined with towels and paper towels. And we're going to let them dry. Uh, let some of this water drain off of them. Be careful uh, if you're wanting to keep your french fry shape because they are partially cooked now. And you see they're a little bit flimsy, almost translucent, and they'll break on you pretty easy. If they do, it's okay. Uh, it's not a big deal. So now we're going to let these dry out. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, once right before they're dry, uh, we're going to put them onto our cold trays. So as they're drying, we're going to go to the freezer and get our cookie sheets, our baking sheets, out of the freezer uh, and bring them in here. And we'll put them uh, in the freezer next. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I got our frozen trays. I hit them with a really light coat of... Uh, cooking spray. We're going to put our potatoes on here in an even layer so that we can put them in the freezer just like this and freeze them before we package them. Uh, let me say uh, we're going to do the same method with all of our different styles of potato. So our french fry, you see our french fries here, our mashed potatoes we're going to cut into one by one cubes our fried potatoes or hash style potatoes we're going to cut into half inch by half inch cubes approximately and then naturally our hash browns are going to be shredded um, the smaller cuts like for the, uh, the the hash or the fried potatoes the small half by half we're going to only blanch for three minutes and our shredded hash browns we're probably going to only blanch for one minute maybe a minute and a half uh, we don't want them to be cooked but we're going to do the same process with all of them. Once they're, once they're blanched and, and uh, dried, semi-dried, you can see there's still a little moisture on there, but it is a potato. Uh, that's the reason why I sprayed this lightly with some vegetable oil, to, just to keep them from freezing to it. But we're going to do the same process with all of them. We're going to put them on our trays, and then we're going to freeze them uh, in the freezer before we package them up. So we will see you. I broke a bunch of them up. Oh, well. We will see you when these are frozen. It'll take probably, I don't know, 30 minutes or so in the freezer. These are going to be frozen, and then we'll package them and re-freeze them. Okay, guys, uh, so with the, uh, including the potatoes that we ate for dinner tonight, we got uh, around, I think, 17 or 18 meals worth of potatoes. We went ahead and just mashed up the potatoes. It'll save us a step. Uh, next time we go to have mashed potatoes, we don't got to, you know, reboil them, and we just went ahead and mashed them, put them in a Ziploc bag. Hash browns, they turned on us a little bit. I didn't put any lemon in the water to keep them dark. I don't mind, they're going to be brown anyway. Uh, we're going for 
you know, flavor. And then we got our french fries that are frozen and we bagged them up as well. So, like I said, we got roughly 17, 18 meals. Uh, do the math on that. We had $10 for that bag, so 10 divided by 17, carry the seven potatoes are round, so it's times pie. What is it, like uh, what, 60, somewhere around there, 60 cents for a entire meal's worth of potatoes. Not bad in my book. It took a little bit of work. We're tired. Uh, we're sick of looking at potatoes, but that's all right because tomorrow's going to come and we're going to be refreshed and uh, totally worth it in my opinion. So now we're going to get everything. We're going to put it into the freezer. We're going to stack them up just like this in, uh, in our little groups. And we've got our potatoes covered for uh, you know the rest of the month and probably a little bit into next month. And this is probably what we're going to be doing as far as our potato needs because uh, you know you just can't beat it. So there you go. Uh, there you, there you have it. I don't know what else to say. It uh, just takes a little bit of work, a little bit of time, but if I can do it, you guys can totally do it. It's totally worth it. Homemade, everything potato, and uh, that's how we did ours. <sighs> yeah, so you guys, thank you very much for watching. You guys have a great rest of the day. God bless. The end. Buzz, buzz. The end.